Jonathan is set to embark once again on the path of competing in battle at the upcoming Sheffield Championships in February. Last year at the championships, the athlete broke the 90 or 93 kilograms IPF bench press record with an incredible bench press of 241.5 kilograms, a margin of 1.26% and or 3 kilograms above the prior bench press record of 238.5 kilograms. Conclusively, Jonathan would result in an overall second place championship finish with a total of 884 kilograms beaten by Jesus Elovirs for the championship crown who set a new monster total world record of 1,152.5 kilograms which is 4.30% above the prior world record versus Jonathan's margin of 0.63% with an IPF record total of 884 kilograms. However, a second place finish reportedly earned the two times IPF world champion a prize money of $21,397. Jonathan would end this season with a squat of 300 kilograms, 5 kilograms below his all time squat PR of 305 kilograms, which he achieved in 2021 at the USAPL Iron Office Winter Classic. The athlete would also end his 2023 season with a world record bench press of 243 kilograms, remarkably breaking the bench press world record three times in one season, alongside a deadlift of 345 kilograms, which is 2.5 kilograms below Jonathan's all time PR of 347.5 kilograms and also 4.5 kilograms below his lifetime PR total of 892.5 kilograms, with an end of season total of 888 kilograms, which currently stands as the IP of total record. With the Sheffield Championships fast approaching, could Jonathan extend both his world and IPF record as he competes against the like of Gavin Adin, who at last year's Sheffield Championship was marginally beaten by Jonathan with a total of 880 kilograms versus Jonathan's 884 kilograms total. Other contenders for a prize money of £445,000 with a maximum payout of £45,000 include last year's Crown Sheffield champion Jesus Oliviers, Delaney Wallace, Anatoly, Tony Cliff, Gustav Edlund, Coyote Oshiyama, Timothy Manigati, Panigiotis, Carl Johansson, and Carlos Peterson Griffith. It's worth noting that for each record broken, the athlete is reportedly awarded £5,000. Jonathan's year on year average squat progression stands at 1.52% with a median of 0.42% which quintessentially equates to a baseline projection of 301.26 kg to 304.56 kg with a worst case scenario between 291.29 kg to 302.06 kg. The athlete's baseline or minimum projection is 25.44 kg below the current IPF squat record of 330 kg. In comparison to Gavin, whose year on year average squat progression stands at 2.66% with a median of 3.23%. Plus, Jonathan's close rival at last year's Sheffield Championships, Gavin, lead difference within the squat discipline stands at 6.56% and or 20 kilograms above the IPF world champion all-time squat of 305 kilograms which was set in 2021 approximately three years ago with a year on year average progression of 2.66% alongside a median of 3.23% equates to a theoretical squat between 333.65 kilograms to 335.50 kilograms which would be enough for Gavin to break the IPF squat record of 330 kilograms 
which is held by Amar Kanin by a percentile margin between 1.11% to 1.67%. Going to be a monumental battle if he wants to get 330 to the top. This is a I just, it, it, 326 Three is such a grinder. 30 is just going to be monumental. He is going to have to fight every step of the way for this one. He gets this, my gosh, there's no stopping him. Oh, oh wow. This guy is Yikes. superhuman. This is Wasn't scary. Deep enough. Another close contender who will be competing for part of the prize money will be none other than last year's IPF World Classic Silver Medalist, Gustav Edlund, who we saw last season, undertook a colossal battle against Jonathan. For example, Gustav was able to win the squat gold medal against the defending champion with a squat of 320 kilograms versus Jonathan's 300 kilograms, a marginal lead difference of 6.67%. Additionally, Gustav was able to impressively match Jonathan's deadlift of 345 kilograms. Specifically, on all three occasions at the 2023, 2022, and 2021 IPF World Classic Championships, Gustav defeated Jonathan within the squat discipline by an average margin of 6.39%. But could Gustav break the IPF squat record of 330 kilograms. At current, Gustav has a year-on-year -year average progression of 1.68% with a median of 1.83% which effectively equates to a baseline squat projection between 325.38 kilograms to 325.86 kilograms which is relatively 14.14 kilograms to 14.46 kilograms below the IPF squat record of 330 kilograms. It's worth being conscious of the fact that in a worst case scenario, the athlete squat may theoretically falter between 307.5 kilograms and 320.21 kilograms. Even though, as stated earlier, Gustav on all occasions has defeated Jonathan within the squat discipline. It's imperative to highlight that Jonathan has a higher historical squat reliability which stands at 70.02% with a failure of 29.98% in parallel to Gustav's squat reliability of 58.84% with a failure rate of 41.16%. Therefore, it is more favorable that Jonathan's chance of success in any such squat attempt is higher than his counterpart. However, ultimately, it appears that the battle for the IPF squat record is not between Jonathan, Gavin, or Gustav, but rather Gavin versus debut athlete Guyana's Carlos Peterson Griffith, who last season achieved a PR squat of 320 kilograms at the IPF World Classic Championships. The fast rising athletes average year run year squat progression stands at 3.47% with a median of 4.96% which provides a baseline squat projection between 331.10 kg to 335.87 kg alongside a worst case scenario between 320.61 kg to 325.22 kg. Both top and baseline projections are marginally similar of Gavin's 335.50 kg top end projection. However, Gavin's low end baseline projection of 333.65 kg is slightly higher than Carlos's low end baseline projection of 331.10 kg, a difference of 2.55 kg between both athletes. Another notable difference which may partly determine the outcome is the relative comparative difference between both athletes levels in a worst case scenario squat output and level of historical reliability. For example, 
Gavin's worst case scenario for squat stands between 315.83 kg to 319.26 kg. In direct parallel to Carlos's highlighted 320.61 to 325.22 kg. Therefore, in principle, at least on paper, on a bad day of competition, it appears much more favorable on the part of Carlos to grasp the win. Further coupled by the fact that Gavin's squat reliability currently stands at 44.95% with a failure of 55.05% versus Carlos' squat reliability of 58.84% with a historical failure of 41.16%. Both athletes' level of squat reliability doesn't provide much confidence in firmly suggesting a probable outcome. At current, it's 50-50 between both athletes, which quite frankly, adds even much more suspense to the outcome. It is important to note that neither a high nor a low level of reliability further correlates with the amount that an athlete may successfully attempt. Rather, it is a measure or indicator that, to some extent, reflects the level of probability of success or failure. Anyway, kindly leave your comments below and share your thoughts. Blessed love everyone.